Hello, my name is R.C. Kapoor. Welcome to my live page. Today I am going to tell you about the subject astrophysics. Before I get into the subject, let me tell you how I, how I got into the subject of astronomy. Since my early school days, uh, I was I got interested in the subject of astronomy. There were books in my school library and I used to read about the solar system, about the galaxies and the uh, various other objects in the sky. In fact, when I was in my 11th standard, I procured a few lenses from the shops and built a small telescope of, of my own without any guidance from any uh, teacher. And in fact, it was a kind of a discovery for me also when I placed two lenses one after the other and saw the distant objects uh, as if appearing uh, close to me. In fact, then I got a tube made uh, from the canister and also used some wooden pieces to make a uh, stand for it. Sometimes people get confused about it. Astronomy, as we say, is a subject more uh, given towards the uh, observational side. The user, you use a telescope and uh, you take some measurements, you measure the light, you take pictures and you take the spectrum and then uh, you give your uh, results and findings, you write them down. The most important thing is that it's not essential that you study astrophysics specifically. If you are good in physics, if you have learned mathematics at the advanced level, then these are your most important uh, tools on your side because uh, once your fundamentals are clear, foremost in that is communication and apart from your good knowledge of mathematics and physics. Mathematics, you have to be very, really very deep. Whether you are doing uh, astronomy or astrophysics, we cannot be living in a small well and then say that we know the whole world. No. Because when you work, when you study, you think that you know, have understood the problem, you have known the different aspects of it and you are able to work them out. There are out there people who have different ideas about what you have done. So a discussion is necessary. Research is never done alone. Not many universities in the country where astrophysics is taught as a subject, whether at the BSc level or at the MSc level. There are fewer universities and then after you have finished your MSc, whether in astrophysics or in physics, there are not many institutions in the country where you can pursue uh, your research work uh, uh, without any problem. And I'll describe uh, two days of that. When I was in job, I was doing uh, observational astronomy. In the morning, I'll reach the office, look at my registers and catalogs, what kind of object I am about to study. Then I look up the maps of the stars and choose my object. Then I go to the star charts in my library and the library uh, is very well equipped. So any kind of book on astronomy that's available there. Any kind of chart, catalogs, they are there. Um, these days uh, we have much better um, uh, equipment at hand in terms of fast computers and many other gadgets. So. A day is spent just working things. At that time, you are not really looking at uh, 9 to 5. Your mind is always on. If you are sleeping in the middle of night, if you get up, suddenly some uh, thought flashes your mind and you will want to work it or you want to note it down. That's how I have uh, done all my life. Many times I will get my ideas, uh, sometimes in the middle of the night and then I will uh, make a short note of it so that next day I don't forget and start working on it. I hope I have been able to give you a balanced view of astrophysics and thank you.